looks like I'm live on Facebook. So this will be under my Life and Liberty. That's my created playlist for Dog Tricks of the Trade. And what I'm gonna do today, and I'm hoping that Billy, who has a front row seat to this performance today, is wearing our matching shirts. I may look calm, but in my head, I've pecked you three times. So this is the new matching t-shirt that Billy Kerfoot and I have that we're gonna wear. So whenever we're at dog shows, we're gonna be watch, matching our little shirts together. But what I'm gonna do today, since I have been showing you my step-by-step -step new design here with the whole backsplash and the new wall in my kitchen, is I was gonna show you my quick and easy chicken recipe. Because I'm a busy person, I don't like to cook, 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 cook every day. I like to take one big, huge package of chicken thighs. I usually go to the market and get the real chickens like off the farms that are out there pecking, pecking around on the grass and not, not so much the um, Temple Grandin chop off their heads, package it, and then, you know, ship it out to the giant food store. But either way, I like thighs. That's just my favorite. So I'm going to show you my best chicken recipe today. I do 10 pieces ahead of time. I marinate it. I put it in a Tupperware Glad container, snap it shut, put it in the refrigerator, pull out one piece at a time, throw out what's called a range mate. We'll go through all that. Put it in my uh, microwave that's behind me for less than five minutes, and I've got a five-star meal. Really, it's that simple. Let me put on my little apron, and we'll get started. And yes, this apron is from my doggy bathtub. I don't have kitchen aprons. I only have doggy aprons. Keep myself all mic'd up there. The first thing I went ahead last night and I want, God, don't use the defroster on your microwave setting. If you have to defrost something quickly, put it in your sink in a bin full of cold water. These are the ingredients that you're gonna use. I got honey mustard, olive oil, uh, white vinegar, either apple cider vinegar or white wine vinegar, doesn't matter, and McCormick's Montreal chicken. You can also use some of the Mrs. Dash's things. They're good. Get yourself a lemon, lemon squeezer, knife, and a really good kitchen scissor. See, I'm always doing things with scissors. I got this like at the dollar store or something. Now, we always have bones. Look at this. So I'm gonna take the scissor in here. I think it's time for me to go to the dollar store and get myself a new scissor, but you get the drift. So I just took a scissor and I cut out the bone. So now uh, all I'm left with then is the thigh. This is my final piece of chicken here. One of the reasons why I like the thighs is because it just has one single bone in it and I prefer dark meat anyway. So again, all I'm doing is going up the side of the bone and then up the side of the bone. These scissors need to be replaced. It's usually really quick, 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 quick. And then up, bones off, chicken's done. Ta-da! I've got this little Glad container. I actually use it at the dog shows. See, I keep my everything bagels at the dog show at the hospitality table in this. But it also works really good here because it can just slide in the refrigerator and holds all this yummy chicken in like the most perfect way possible, which is kind of cool. So I guess I'll tilt it up. So there we go. I like skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my chicken with the skin down so it has the opportunity to soak up the most amount of this goody stuff that it can while it's in there. And not unlike lasagna, I'm just gonna do my layers. 
I've got the white wine vinegar here, so I'll use it. But apple, apple cider vinegar works just as well. You could do garlic. This is your, you get Mrs. Dash. You know, go a little crazy and interesting with your spices. Rather than pressing garlic, I just buy it already pressed. And this stuff's got really good juice. So I'm going to use a lot of the really good juice. Garlic is one of the five foods that helps to fight cancer. Kale, garlic, regular old yellow onions, believe it or not, and just the regular old mushrooms, not the white fancy ones, just the mushrooms right off the rack. Those are four of the five best anti-cancer foods you can eat. And if you grow cancer like I do, you should eat them as you can eat them every day. There's my honey mustard. I'm just going to go down with the next layer now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and again, olive oil. wine vinegar Montreal chicken grill mates from McCormick pressed garlic I'm going to try to get the nice garlic juice here yum keep the vampires away of the day. This is just bright, a uh, giant brand honey mustard. I usually buy them on sale. Two for three bucks. That's it. Done. done. So there's 10 pieces. All done. My little refrigerator that we had to get from Europe because it, it's a refrigerator. It's fully a refrigerator top and bottom. Refrigerator all the way up, refrigerator all the way down. So right there's the chicken. Now when it's time to actually cook these bad boys. This is what's left over from my prior package a week ago. These are kind of two puny ones. So here is, and it's called a range made. Very first time I ever saw it was on QVC. So if you look in here, it's a grill. I'm going to do both of these pieces because they're tiny. They're small. I like the skin down because I like to eat the skin all cooked. So there is the exact same recipe from the last batch of chicken that I did. So I'm going to put it face down into the range mate. Now this baby goes over here into the microwave. And because there's two pieces, I'm going to opt to go with a five minute setting. I usually do four, four, four for one big piece. I take it out, it's done. For you guys who've watched my channel, you've seen these potato bags for your sweet potatoes that I feed the dogs with my doggy diet. They go in here and you put them into the microwave and again you spin them around for five minutes for one of those big huge ones. You just, and then they come all, all soft and mushy and then I stick them again in a glad container in the refrigerator and I feed the dogs for a whole week off of cooked sweet potatoes that have taken me a few minutes to cook. I don't heat up the kitchen and quite frankly this makes a better baked potato than wrapping them in aluminum foil and putting them in the oven the old-fashioned way. It really does. Makes them soft and yummy. Now for any of you that were at the dog show this year, I found this new trick thing. I love Audi. Love Audi foods. So they have these little packages. This is $3.80. It's an entire salad. 
and inside they come with their own dressing and then their own toppings. This is the Asian one. This happens to be my favorite and it comes with crunchy stuff and some of them come with sesame seeds, some of them come with sunflower seeds, some of them come with raisins, bacon, and it's all individual so you can pick and choose what you want to put in your salad. This one's sunflower chop salad kit and again it has a whole package of sunflower seeds plus its own individual kind of dressing three dollars and eighty cents these are my three favorites they have about seven this one's bacon avocado ranch chop salad mix this one comes with shredded cheese bacon there's a lot of cabbage in this one so i have to be careful otherwise i'm going to be you know taking my gas my gas x pills all night cabbage just says that to me but I, I love the avocado dressing in this one that one's really good i'm gonna do asian tonight so i'm exhausted dragged myself through my backyard in harrowing rush hour traffic avoiding the dogs that are running through my feet to get back up to my house from a long day at the grooming shop and I just walk over to the refrigerator and I pull out the chicken and it looks like I'm gonna have to get new scissors because these are shot and I pull out a salad these are the same salads that I had at the Susquehanna, Susquehanna Valley Dog Show and I'll tell you at the end of the day there wasn't anything left in those two salad bowls It's got um, sliced almonds, and it's got these crunchy things like you get at the Asian restaurant when you go to the Asian restaurant, and it's got really, really yummy dressing, almost like a ginger kind of dressing. It's done. I'll pull it out. I'm going to, I'll pull the skin off to the side because that's my treat, and then I'm going to chop it up, and I'm going to stick it in my salad bowl. Big spoon, pull it all around, done, done. And by having this chicken sit in that marinated sauce, that honey mustard, olive oil, uh, vinegar, spices, sauce over the next four, five, six days, this stuff is incredible. It just melts in your mouth. We used to go out and eat all the time. And since Patrick taught me these recipes, I will give him full credit where credit is due. Patrick became the, uh, the perfect gourmet chef for paleo foods. He said, I can't live without my cheeseburgers and my pizzas and I'm gonna have to learn how to do it. He makes the most incredible pizza and there's no grain in it. It's all the cauliflower and he has all these nut flowers and oh, he makes a chocolate, a chocolate mousse cheesecake an avocado chocolate mousse cheesecake. No dairy in it, no grain in it. Unbelievable. I have these fancy restaurants downtown that you all go to when you come to these shows. Nothing touches it. Unbelievable what you can really do when you have the right recipes and you just want to stick to real food instead of processed food and sugar and shite. Put that in for five minutes. I'm gonna pull it out because I don't want to I want it to cook, but I don't necessarily want to kill it. Now, can you hear how it's grilling? This is actually a grill that you put inside your microwave and it grills your meat. And now I can't see anything because my glasses are all fogged up. Oh darn. All fogged up glasses. I know, I should stick to my dog grooming tapes, right? Right. I think I have a better chance getting the thousand subscribers to my dog grooming tapes and my dog show and my hunting tapes than I would be Debbie, Debbie the homemaker cook. Anyway, you can see, you can see it's actually grilled. I mean, look at that. Look at that beautiful grilled skin on top. There is the chicken right off the grill, if you will, from my microwave right off the grill from my microwave. How cool is that? So these are called range mates. The first college that Patrick went to live in a dorm, he had to cook his own foods. 
So I just went online, said, how do you grill meats with a microwave? Because that's all he's allowed to have at school. And uh, I came across QVC was the original one where I bought these from. Now you can get them on Amazon. I would go with the Range Mate specific brand name. They have lots of knockoffs now because these became so popular. But if you're careful with the surface when you're cleaning it and you don't get in there and scrub, scrub, scrub with anything too abrasive, these things will last you two, three years. Before you don't, you don't put them in the dishwasher and you don't submerge them because you don't want to get water down in this. It's just a wipe clean. So there it is. And it is perfectly cooked, extremely moist, extremely, extremely juicy. You can certainly put it, lay it out on a paper towel if you want more of the chicken's natural fat to drain off before you eat it. Patrick does that a lot. He'll just put it out on a paper towel and let it drain out. Four star meal, chickens, five minutes or less. There you go. Billy, I hope you were watching. Did you take notes? You're the English teacher. I'll let you write out the recipe and then post it for everybody. <laughs> Don't even have to remember temperatures. I hate temperatures when I'm cooking legs of lambs and chickens and turkeys. I always have to look up these things. No, 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 no. Microwave. Microwave on 10 as far as the wattage. Is that what they call it? You know, for 4.44 minutes for one piece, five minutes for two. Done. Okay, everybody. I'm going to eat, and my house guest here and my cat are very interesting in the chicken remains that are still behind me on top of the, on top of the trash can. I'm going to have to bag those and put those outside. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for joining Debbie's Corner in my, in my newly renovated kitchen with the new backsplash that you've all been watching me put up. Barry came home late last night from the airport. And 22 years of me, he actually noticed it. Cannot believe it. He actually noticed. First time in my life he's ever noticed a piece of furniture or something that I've done. He noticed it right away. So it must be pretty good. All right. Bye, everybody. Uh, the coffee, as you can tell, the coffee's definitely worn off. And it's definitely time that I can break open that bottle of wine. So I'm still working off the wine boxes that Carol Hamilton brought to the dog show. <laughs> I'm going to have them for a whole year until next year. So I'm, I got them out in the hallway. I'm going to go out, hit a glass of wine, sit down with my salad and my piece of chicken. Maybe watch some Ben Shapiro. He's always funny to watch. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> what do you think, Del Monaco? Do you want some chicken? Do you want some chicken? Smokey? Smokey the cat? You guys like chicken. They like chicken.